People who go to bed late have stories. It was already dark, Chen King was lying on the bed, tossing and turning, unable to fall asleep. It wasn't that he couldn't fall asleep because of the lack of a pillow, but because he had to accept the fact that he passed through. The original owner's memory was like a spring, and it poured into his mind forcefully, and he could not tolerate any resistance. Now he is in a country called Dayu, and his identity is a soldier guarding the border with guilt. Thoughts were rolling in his mind, and there were thousands of words in his heart, but in the end it was only one sentence. Forget it, the car loan and housing loan in the previous life was like a mountain, and I couldn't hold my head up. Such an encounter was a relief. However, when he thought of the current situation, Chen King was again gloomy and gloomy. Three months ago, the Fengjiho Pavilion case that shook the world occurred in the Daeyo Kingdom. In this case, the family of Xue Linyuan, the general of Zhendong, was beheaded by the whole family. Countless others were implicated. The original owner, Chen King, had some relationship with the general's mansion, and was also affected by it. Fortunately, his surname is Chen and not Xue, otherwise his head would have fallen off. It is a severe punishment to issue a border exile. This is not as simple as a period of time, but a lifetime. At this time, the place where Chen King was located was Liangcheng in the northern border of the Great Moon Kingdom. Originally, there were eight people who were sent to Liangcheng to join the army with him. However, the country's capital is far from Liangcheng Mountain, and there are beasts and robbers blocking the way, which is very dangerous. All the way down, four of them died on the road one after another. Half a month ago, the remaining four finally came to Liangcheng. But the other three were so weak that they were sick and died one after another. The original master has practiced some boxing and kicking skills, and he is in good health. He has resisted the long journey and the torment of illness, and lived to the end. However, during the day when he was training in the army, he was hit on the head with a stick, and he died. Then, Chen King crossed over and occupied the body of the original owner. The border is bitter and cold, there are barbarian bandits harassing, wild beasts are raging, the life of the army is like ants, and there is little hope of surviving. Chen King, who was lying on the bed, groaned. Where is this liberation, it is clearly a new kind of suffering. She slept in a daze in the middle of the night. The next day, when it was just dawn, Chen King got up. Going to bed late and getting up early is a habit he has developed for many years, because he has a lot of weight on his body. When taking a shower, he looked at himself in the bronze mirror. The soul is his own, but his appearance and body have changed. What doesn't change is that the whole person is still as handsome. With a slender stature, sword eyebrows, and star eyes, it is not an exaggeration to call him the unparalleled son of the world. This made him feel a little relieved. At this moment, a rough voice came from outside. Chen King, are you awake? It was the voice of the old king next door. Chen King opened the door and saw a middle-aged man in armor standing at the door. The man's complexion is sallow, his skin is rough, and there are folds on his face. This is the ravages of the wind and sand, and it is the trace left by the baptism of the years in the north. His name is Wang Sheng. He is forty years old. He belongs to an old soldier in the army. He has served in the army for more than twenty years in Liangcheng. He knows how to survive. The people who joined the army with him died and were wounded, but he was still alive and well. This is a kind of skill. Chen King said hello, Uncle Wang. Wang Sheng looked at Chen King, does your head still hurt? Once received two tails of silver from Chen King, he stopped by to take care of Chen King. Maybe it's just pretending, but this society needs to be able to pretend. It is said that the original owner, Chen King, can also do things. After arriving at the military camp, he gave money to the people in the army, which was regarded as a greeting. Probably, I'm a newcomer, I'm new here, so don't be too embarrassing for me if you guys have accepted the money. Indeed, most of the veterans in the army did not embarrass him too much. 
the three people who came to the army with him, because they didn't give money, were seriously ill and left no one to care, and they could only die with hatred in the end. Chen King touched his head and said, It still hurts a bit, but it's okay. Wang Sheng walked in and closed the door again. It's good if it doesn't get in the way. Even if it gets in the way, you still have to do what you need to do. After all, this is the military. Chen King nodded, Well, Uncle Wang, I know. The military is not as free as other places. Even if you are sick, you have to carry it. Wang Sheng glanced back, made sure the door was closed tightly, and whispered, Did you not give Zhang Chuan enough money, or you wouldn't have to take the stick yesterday? Yesterday, we had a drill in the army. The original owner just let Zhang Chuan kill him with a stick. Chen King searched for his memory, and the original owner also gave Zhang Chuan two tails of silver. After hearing this, he couldn't help but say, maybe. Wang Sheng kindly reminded, in the army, Zhang Chuan loves money the most. If you don't give enough money, you will suffer in the future. So, you should be careful. Chen King showed gratitude and nodded heavily, thank you Uncle Wang for reminding me. Wang Sheng stretched out his hand and patted Chen King on the shoulder. At that moment, Chen King only felt that Mount Tai was pressing down on the top and was under unimaginable pressure. His face was almost pale. After Wang Sheng saw it, he shook his head slightly, we have to face the desolate bandits and the desolate beasts. You are too weak. If you want to survive, you have to train harder. He just barely said, this is in the army, you are too weak to live long. The two tails of silver were really the right gift. Otherwise, he wouldn't have said so much to Chen Kang, a convicted person. Chen King fell into deep thought. Indeed, the northern border is already bitter and cold, and life in the army is even more difficult. If you want to survive, you need a strong body and strong strength. If you want to be strong, you can only cultivate. To practice, you need to have gong methods. Although the original owner had practiced some boxing and kicking skills, he only had moves and no formulas. Without mental formulas, Achievements will always be limited. The most urgent task is to find a cultivation method. However, the exercises are rare, even if you have money, you can't buy them. What's more, he has been managing all the time, and now he doesn't have much money on him. So Chen King looked at Wang Sheng and said, Uncle Wang, I actually intend to set foot on the path of cultivation, but I have been suffering from lack of exercises. I wonder if Wang Shu has a way to buy exercises. No. Wang Sheng shook his head simply, cultivation techniques are rare, and practitioners won't easily spread them out. I also want to buy a cultivation technique, but I still haven't bought it for so many years. After Chen King heard this, he sighed slightly on the surface. In his heart, he was suspicious. Just now, when Wang Sheng slapped himself with such great strength, he didn't even practice the exercises, right? It's also possible that he didn't have enough money. At this moment, an unfamiliar voice suddenly sounded in his mind. Ding, the exercise extractor is successfully bound. Find the target, do you want to extract it? The voice is very mechanical, without a trace of emotion. However, in Chen Kang's ears, it was so beautiful and pleasing to the ear. At that moment, his heart suddenly trembled. As we all know, after crossing the border, both parents die and those who are alone have a bright future. If it is matched with the system, it will be even more incredible. Now, he can be said to be satisfied with both. What does this mean? Then, Chen King answered yes in his heart without hesitation. A miraculous thing happened. I saw a white light fly out from Wang Sheng's body and silently submerged into Chen Kang's body. Wang Sheng, who was on the opposite side, didn't notice this scene, but Chen King saw it clearly. Then, Chen King heard the incomparably warm and wonderful mechanical sound again. Ding, the extraction is successful, and the flame palm is obtained. In Chen Kang's mind, 
a formula for palm technique immediately appeared. Flaming palm, condensing the strength of the whole body on the palms. After tempering, the palms are hot, like flames, and the power is not bad. Chen King was overjoyed in his heart, as expected, there is no way out. What are you thinking about? I want to eat milk, my mother is here. I want a practice method, here comes the practice method extractor. If you extract other people's exercises for your own use, you won't have to worry about the exercises in the future. In fact, Wang Sheng has been practicing flame palm for 20 years. It's just that Chen King didn't send enough silver, so he didn't say it. With years of cultivating the flame palm, he is strong and strong, and has already reached the peak of the body tempering realm. One of the important reasons for being able to stay in the army for so many years without dying is cultivating the flame palm. Cultivators are divided into strong and weak according to their different realms. The first realm is the body quenching realm. The body is the foundation, and the quenching state is to train the flesh, forge the bones, change the tendons, polish the body, strengthen the physique, and shape the foundation. The second realm is the cultivation realm. When the body is polished to the extreme, it can generate Yuan force and open up the sea of Qi. Yuan Li has high damage and powerful power. With the help of Yuan Li, trees and rocks can be easily broken. The third state is the Nirvana state. In the Nirvana realm, Yuan force is released, and it can carry out long-distance attacks. Moreover, what Chen King obtained was more than just the formula of the flaming palm. Also includes some memory insights. Those memories and insights were accumulated by Wang Sheng after 20 years of cultivation. Chen King instantly accepted and digested those memories. That kind of feeling is like a Daigo empowerment. Cool. With those memories, he didn't need to spend time to understand the flame palm, he could use it directly. This is the mystery of the exercise extractor. At this moment, Chen King was extremely happy. It felt like the goddess you had been chasing for a few years suddenly looked at you affectionately and told you, let's go to the hotel tonight. The matter of the exercises will come slowly. Now you have to put on your armor and participate in the morning training. After Wang Sheng finished speaking, he went out. Okay, Uncle Wang. Chen King watched Wang Sheng go out and quickly closed the door. When a person is in a good mood at a happy event, his movements can't help but lighten up a bit. While changing his armor, he secretly said that even if he only relies on the external skill of cultivating the flame palm, he can still reach the peak of the body quenching state. It's a pity that he doesn't have time, otherwise he can't help but make a move now. After changing his armor, he went out to the training ground. As a soldier, I have to participate in training every day. No wind and snow. Autumn in the north always comes earlier than in other places. Although it was just autumn, it was already cold in the morning. The cool wind swishes and slaps the face. This feeling is not good. However, more unpleasant days are yet to come. Chen King looked over, and what caught his eye were all kinds of weapons. There are many types of weapons, there are broadswords glowing with cold light, and long swords are extremely sharp. There are also spears, sticks, bows and arrows. The training ground is not big, it is a camp for ten people. The person in charge called it Shi Chong, and his name was Fang Lai. At this moment, standing on the high platform, the person wearing black armor is Fang Lai. Why is he long, the armor he wears is thicker, the workmanship is finer, and the quality is better. On the chest, a wolf's head is engraved. As for the armor of Chen King and others, there is nothing on it, it is the most common thing. Below, stood Chen King, Wang Sheng, Zhang Chuan, and others. As a super long, Fang Lai is neither the tallest nor the strongest. However, his eyes are the most ferocious and the most imposing. Even Wang Sheng, who was at the peak of the body tempering realm, was not as strong as Fang Lai. Following Fang Lai's order, everyone began to train. The content of today's training is to kill the enemy with bare hands. 
Half a month after arriving in the army, Chen Kang and the others had practiced the sword, danced the sword, and played the spear. These training contents are the basic contents that a soldier must practice. Of course, they are all basic moves, and there are no formulas. On the battlefield, when fighting with the enemy, these things are not enough. Therefore, many soldiers are practicing privately to strengthen themselves. There are also exercises in the military. However, the military pawns at the bottom cannot be reached at all. Many soldiers fought bravely to kill the enemy, trying to establish great merits, in order to obtain the skills. It's a pity that he died before he was successful, and he didn't get the cultivation method, but the person died, and it was tragic. Kill. 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 On the training ground, there was a deafening training sound. The requirement is that your moves can be good, but the momentum must be strong and you must shout out. On the battlefield, being loud is also a skill, which can deter the enemy. Chen King had practiced some boxing skills before, although he had not yet stepped into the real body-quenching state. However, the body bones are always better than ordinary people. At this moment, he is training very seriously. She shouted loudly, and her face was red. While making moves, he shouted, even if the cold wind slapped his face, it was not cold at all. Another effect of training is reflected, that is to keep out the cold. In the winter in the future, you can warm the bed without a woman, but you can't do without training. After the morning training was over, everyone had a short break. Chen King sat on the wooden bench, his face flushed slightly, and he was gasping for breath. He felt more and more that his body was too weak, and he urgently needed to strengthen his physique. At this moment, a soldier with fleshy flesh came to him. Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganshu.com The man looked fierce, and his name was Zhang Chuan. Yesterday, it was Zhang Chuan who went down with a stick and knocked out the soul of the original owner, Chen King. Of course, because of this, Chen King was able to occupy this body and live another life. That stick, hit well. There are many people in the army, and some people respond to the call of Dei Yueguo to join the army, just like Wang Sheng. Others were sent into the army for crimes. Like Chen King, he didn't do anything himself. He was sent into the army because of the Feng Yuding case. However, Zhang Chuan is different. He was sent to the army because he had done a lot of evil and committed serious crimes. Before being convicted, he was a ruthless man. After coming to serve in the army, even though his temper has been restrained, his nature is hard to change. In the past year, which newcomer has not been exploited and bullied by him? That is to say, when Chen King came, he gave him two tails of silver, so he didn't start so early. He looked down at Chen King condescendingly, and said without a smile, I'm really sorry yesterday, I made you lie down all night. Chen King looked at him and smiled, it's okay. Zhang Chuan slapped his mouth, rubbed his hands, and said with a smile, tonight, my brother will take you to the Spring Breeze Pavilion for a drink and relax. You don't know the Warren there, they are so beautiful. That's what it meant, let's go relax and you'll pay for it. Chen King heard that it would cost at least three or four tails to go to the Spring Wind Pavilion for a drink. It would be more expensive to spend the night there. He touched the purse, it was shriveled, it seemed to say, a concubine can't do it. Now, Chen King's money bag is only two tails of silver, plus two copper plates. It is said that the young ladies in Spring Breeze Pavilion are beautiful, talented, and have great ventriloquism, and they charge a variety of fees. With his current financial resources, he can't afford it at all. So, he could only refuse, Brother Zhang, I want to go too, but the money bag doesn't allow it. After Zhang Chuan heard this, his smile gradually froze. So, you don't even give your brother's face anymore. Chen King waved his hand, no, I really can't afford it. Zhang Chuan smiled coldly, that's right, brother is abrupt. You just arrived in the army, so you should focus on training. 
In this way, I'll practice with you again. Yesterday, in the name of pointing, he made a ruthless attack. Some old people like to suppress the newcomers in the street. Now, he wants to take the opportunity to stand out and establish his mighty image. After the other soldiers heard it, they immediately moved their benches and took out a bowl of ajaki beans, ready to watch the play. They have seen too many scenes like this, and they are already used to it. They took money from the original owner, Chen King, and did not bully Chen King at will. However, it doesn't matter if others bully Chen King. Only Wang Sheng looked at Chen King and shook his head slightly. Chen King saw Wang Sheng's actions and understood what Wang Sheng meant. He stood up, looked at Zhang Chuan, and said weakly, Is it better not to? After Zhang Chuan heard this, a cruel smile appeared on the corner of his mouth, If you refuse again, you won't give me face. If you don't give me face, I'll easily get angry. All right then. Chen King looked reluctant on the surface, but inside he was sneering. I extracted the flaming palm in the morning, just in time to practice with you. Wang Sheng, who was not far away, frowned slightly when he saw this scene. The next moment, he opened his mouth and said, Zhang Chuan, Chen King has just come here, you don't understand the rules here, take it easy. He received two tails of silver from Chen King, and he felt that Chen King was a good man, and he was smart. Therefore, I intend to help Chen King. You must know that Zhang Chuan has the cultivation in the early stage of body quenching. However, Chen King is a little stronger than ordinary people, and he has not yet stepped into the body quenching state. The result can be imagined, Chen King will lose. He only hoped that Zhang Chuan would not strike so hard and Chen King would not be beaten too badly. Zhang Chuan turned his head to look at Wang Sheng, and said with an expressionless face, I know what to do, so I won't embarrass him. Having said that, he walked to the center of the training ground. Chen King also walked over. He looked a little flustered, but his heart was as steady as an old dog. In the center of the training ground, the two stood face to face. Zhang Chuan is tall and tall, fat and strong, with a slender face. Looking at Chen King again, his body seemed a little thin, and he didn't have that kind of killing aura. A group of bean-eating soldiers knew that Chen King was going to suffer again. Zhang Chuan was rude and took the initiative to attack. I saw him shouting angrily, stretched out a fist the size of a casserole, and smashed it towards Chen King ruthlessly. Chen King was in no hurry. According to the formula of the flame palm, as well as the memory insights he had extracted, he gathered the strength of his entire body in his palm and quickly shot it out. Because of his memory perception, he used the flaming palm, which was handy. The power of qi and blood condensed in his palms, and his palms became hot. The fists and palms met, and there were two muffled sounds. Chen King not only blocked Zhang Quan's brutal fist, but also knocked Zhang Chuan back two steps. For a time, black iron turned into bronze. Okay. Seeing this scene, the surrounding soldiers who were eating beans only felt that the bean in their hands was not fragrant, and showed surprise on their faces. Chen King, who has not yet set foot in the body quenching state, actually blocked Zhang Quan's attack in the early stage of the body quenching state. Is this true? They wiped their eyes and thought they were wrong. Zhang Chuan failed to attack Chen King, and was knocked back two steps, his face sank instantly. He was secretly surprised that Chen Kang's current strength was not at the same level as yesterday. Just now, it was the first time Chen King used the flame palm, and the strength was not that strong. He was full of momentum and once again slapped his palm. This time, the power is stronger and faster. He quickly stepped forward, took the initiative to attack, and slapped Zhang Chuan on the opposite side with his palm. Crazy! Zhang Chuan was furious when he saw this scene. He has not learned the full version of boxing, but he has learned some weak moves from others. With those crippling moves, he cultivated to the early stage of body tempering. Moreover, with a ruthless force, he killed two people in the early body tempering stage. 
In the face of Chen Kang's attack, the flesh on his face trembled, and his fist was full of strength, and he slammed it out. Bang! The fists and palms collided, another fierce fight. Under everyone's attention, Zhang Quan's body was unstable and he stepped back several steps. Chen Qing repulsed Zhang Chuan and was secretly happy. With the exercises, it will be different, and the strength of the whole body can be exerted more efficiently. Now by casting flame palm, his attack power can be multiplied. Zhang Chuan, who took a few steps back, had a livid face, only feeling his arms go numb. He stared at Chen Qing stubbornly, feeling unbelievable. Yesterday he could easily ravage Chen Qing, but now that Chen Kang's strength has increased so much, it's unbelievable. There is only one possibility, and that is that Chen Qing hides his secrets and hides his strength. However, Chen Qing didn't care what Zhang Chuan on the opposite side thought. Taking advantage of the victory, he pursued and attacked again. This is the third time he has used the flaming palm, and when he uses it, he becomes more skilled and his strength increases. This time, his entire aura has changed. He slapped it out, pointing directly at Zhang Quan's chest. After Zhang Chuan saw it, he didn't dare to be careless, and immediately punched to block it. However, this time, Chen Kang's palm was fast, fierce, and full of power. With a bang, Zhang Chuan was immediately thrown out. Zhang Chuan fell to the ground in a state of embarrassment. He only felt a terrible pain in his chest, and it was hard to breathe. There was even a heat flow in his throat. He didn't get up for a long time and was stunned. When the soldiers around Paysating saw this scene, Yu Yu read www.yuyuganshu.com was also silent for a long time. At this moment, the training ground was terribly quiet, and it could be said that needles could be heard falling. They never imagined that Zhang Chuan, who was in the early body quenching state, would be defeated by Chen Kang's hands. Chen Kang, but he didn't even step into the body tempering realm. Chen Kang looked at Zhang Chuan who was lying on the ground and said innocently, I said no, but you forced me. You. Zhang Chuan had a dark face and wanted to say something, but he felt like a cucumber stuck in his throat and couldn't say anything. Not far away, Wang Sheng looked at Chen Kang and frowned. He seemed to be saying, damn it, why is your palm technique so similar to the flame palm that I cultivated? It's just that the heat is not enough. He didn't think it was Chen Qing who learned his palm technique by stealth, because in the past two weeks, he hadn't used the flaming palm, and Chen Qing didn't have the chance to learn it by stealth. Young man, there is something. The other soldiers looked at Chen Qing and said in surprise, Chen Qing, you are so young you are hiding quite deep. Chen Qing smiled slightly, but did not speak. Not revealing the truth is always not a bad thing. He sighed in his heart that the practice of the exercises and the non-practice of the exercises are completely incomparable. The soldiers looked at Zhang Chuan again and said with a smile, Zhang Chuan, you often go to the Spring Wind Pavilion to fool around, isn't it bad? You can't even beat a newcomer. You know how to bully newcomers on weekdays, but this time you've hit an iron plate. Yeah, don't go to the Spring Breeze Pavilion, be careful to squeeze you dry. Zhang Chuan got up from the ground, glanced at everyone, and said indignantly, You can't do it, I'm really good. Then, he looked at Chen Qing again and said unconvincingly, Young man, hide your strength and don't talk about martial arts. Chen Qing squinted his eyes looked at Zhang Chuan and said, how about we practice again? After Zhang Chuan heard this, he snorted, said nothing, and walked to the side in despair. Fortunately, he was wearing armor, otherwise he would have been injured more severely. He confessed. Chen Qing sighed in his heart that this is the benefit of practicing the exercises. If he didn't get the flaming palm from Wang Sheng, he would definitely be beaten by Zhang Chuan today. If you want to not be bullied, you have to be thorny. Today's wave, make a steady profit. After Chen Kang's performance this time, the old soldiers in the army had a better impression of him. 
Don't look at this man's youth, he is only 16 years old. However, it is quite human. In addition to knowing how to give them money, he also knows how to hide his strength and keep it hidden. Such people must not be treated like cats and dogs. It's not that easy to bully him. It really follows an old saying, dignity is not given by others, but earned by oneself. Now, Chen King noticed that the eyes of those old guards had changed. This is the effect of having power. For him, a flaming palm is not enough, he also needs a better technique. After a short rest, it's time to do some chores. Such as sharpening knives, making arrows, etc. There will be no fighting in these two days, but the sword must be sharpened, the arrow must be made, and all preparations must be made. Until noon. I had lunch at noon, and I ate whole grains. As for meat, do you still want to eat meat? It's good to have whole grains to eat, what meat do you want to eat? In my memory, the original owner had only eaten meat once for half a month. It's lamb. How much each person eats is allocated. Chen King chewed the coarse grains harder than usual. He was filled with emotion, but in the end he only said one word. Grass, a plant. However, his eyes were full of light. Yesterday there was no practice, but today there is a practice. Today is better than yesterday, this is hope. As soldiers on the frontier, Chen King and the others have to do a lot of things besides fighting. They must participate in all kinds of work, such as farming, reclamation, and breeding. Sometimes, they need to be self-sufficient when there is no supply of food and grass above. Otherwise, I would have starved to death by now. Like Wang Sheng, he has been a soldier in Liangcheng for more than 20 years, and he has already married and had children here. As a soldier at the bottom, he is a border guard for a while, and he is a border guard all his life. The desert outside the city is boundless, the yellow sand is like the sea, and it is the destination of many people. The same goes for Chen King. If you are lucky enough to survive the war, you can get a piece of wasteland after three years, and then use it for self-sufficiency after reclamation. If it develops normally, he will marry a wife and have several children in a few years. Of course, if you have too many births, you won't be able to survive. Chen King and the others belonged to the lowest ranks of the soldiers and received the worst treatment. I remember when I was eating, Wang Sheng said, it's good to eat this kind of coarse grains on weekdays. If you encounter wars or natural disasters, and the harvest is not good, you can't eat coarse grains. Wang Sheng also said that if the food in the army is not good, you can go to eat in the city. However, the premise is that you have to have money. If you have enough money, let alone go out to a restaurant, just go to the Spring Breeze Pavilion to drink flower wine and sleep with the Warren. However, how the money came, Wang Sheng didn't say. When he was about to finish eating, Wang Sheng said solemnly, I have to eat now, if I can, I can eat more. Maybe, after this meal, I won't be able to eat the next meal. Chen King was slightly taken aback, Uncle Wang, what's the meaning of this? Wang Sheng explained, it's the autumn harvest season. Rats still know how to stock up on food, not to mention the barren bandits outside the city. Every year at this time, barbarian bandits will be dispatched to beat the autumn wind and loot food. Maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after we will be with those wild bandits fight. Beyond Liangcheng, there is an endless wasteland. In the wasteland, there are barbarians living. Desolate bandits are a force that cannot be ignored. They make a living by robbing homes and often harassing soldiers and civilians in Liangcheng. Three years ago, the desolate bandits even once broke through Liangcheng, burning, killing and looting in Liangcheng bringing unimaginable disasters to the military and civilians of Liangcheng. Although the barbarian bandits have been repelled, they still threaten the safety of the border. In addition to the barren bandits, there are all kinds of beasts on the wasteland outside the city. Such as Steppenwolf. They are powerful, wild, and bloodthirsty. They are even more herd animals. 
hundreds and thousands of them come out to forage, and wherever they pass, no matter whether it is people or livestock, they will not let go. In history, there are even records of Liang Cheng being attacked and occupied by Steppenwolf. After Chen King heard this, his heart became heavy. The environment here is more terrifying than imagined. It's a crisis. You must seize the time to cultivate and become stronger as soon as possible so that you can protect yourself. After lunch, Chen King was called to Fang Lai's barracks. Fang Lai was wearing an armor with a wolf's head engraved on it, sitting on the high platform. He has a long beard and deep eyes. Chen King walked in, cupped his hands and said, See you. Fang Lai tapped on the chair with his fingers, looked at Chen King, but did not speak. Chen King stood, wondering in his heart, what does this mean, do you have to find fault? No, the original owner gave the other party five tails of silver. Fang Lai didn't speak, and he didn't speak either. Play deep with me? Please, I am two generations. In the end, it was Fang Lai who spoke first. From leaving home to the military camp, the first thing is to learn to survive. Everyone else is dead, but you are still alive. This is the ability to survive. Chen Kang, you are good, you have already taken the first step. After Chen Kang heard this, he immediately said, I have to thank Shi Chong for your care. Who doesn't like to hear the words of thanks? Sure enough, after Fang Lai heard this, his face relaxed. This little guy is very talkative and has a future. Since you have learned to survive, you have to do things. I don't care what you have done before or what status you are. When you come to my account, you must obey my orders. Chen King straightened his body and said loudly, If you have something to do, even if you tell me, go up the mountain of swords and go down to the sea of fire. The attitude must be correct, and the position must be clear, so that the day will not be difficult. Okay. Fang Lai nodded in satisfaction, then stood up, Chen King, come forward and be obedient. Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganshu.com Yes. Chen King said, walked towards Fang Lai, and narrowed the distance with him. That is, when he and Fang Lai got close enough, the mechanical sound of the exercise extractor suddenly sounded in his mind. Ding, find the target, do you want to extract it? Hey! At that moment, Chen King was stunned for a moment, then he reacted, and immediately replied in his heart, Yes. Then, a white light flew out from Fang Lai's body and directly submerged into Chen King's body. Ding, the extraction is successful, and you get the bull fist. Then, in his mind, there was a mantra of Man Niu Chuan. At that moment, he was secretly happy. No wonder why Fang Lai Neng is so strong, his aura is stronger than Wang Sheng, and he is also a practitioner. Moreover, he has a deeper understanding of the exercises, a higher cultivation level, and half of his feet have already stepped into the Sea of Qi. After a few more years of ascetic cultivation, he has a great chance to become a real Qi High Realm cultivator. Chen King secretly said in his heart, first he got the flaming palm from Wang Sheng, and then he got the mania fist from Fang Lai, and he was destined to follow the path of smashing wool in the future. It can be said that the smashing technique is refreshing for a while, and it has been refreshing all the time. In fact, Fang Lai and Wang Sheng were the only ones in the camp who had practiced complete exercises. The other soldiers, at most, have practiced some crippling moves, and there is no complete practice at all. In the future, if Chen King wanted to learn about the exercises, he had to find someone else. Fang Lai was standing in front of Chen King, but he didn't know that the exercises he practiced had already been learned by Chen King. He asked, Can you ride a horse? Yes. Chen King nodded without hesitation. Not to mention this life, even in the previous life, he would also ride a horse, and he was riding a foreign horse imported from abroad. In the previous life, a friend of Chen King raised horses, and even more thoroughbreds imported from abroad. When he was tired from work and overwhelmed by life, 
he would go to his friends to ride a horse and relax. Not to mention, after a violent bump, the pressure dropped, and the whole person felt relieved. Moreover, in this life, the original owner can also ride a horse. After listening to Fang Lai, he nodded slightly, it's good to know how to ride a horse, it saves time to study. After a short pause, he continued, however, it's not enough to be able to ride a horse. As a soldier on the frontier, riding a horse is only the basic skill. The most important thing is to be able to fight on a horse. Liangcheng is a border city, and the enemies it faces are mainly barbarian bandits who can ride and shoot, and further north, there are nomads. They have great horsemanship, come and go quickly, and have high mobility. Therefore, in order to fight against them, you must have excellent riding and archery skills. You may not be qualified to be a qualified cavalryman, but it is necessary to learn basic cavalry and archery. Chen King asked, how long, Liang Cheng should have a special cavalry battalion, right? Of course there is. Fang Lai said, without a special cavalry battalion, how can we fight against the barbarian bandits who are good at riding and shooting? Then, he added, however, the number of war horses is limited, and not everyone is qualified to be a cavalry. One person and one horse are one cavalry. As a cavalry, you must first have a war horse that can run. Moreover, the equipment of the cavalry is better than that of the general soldier. There is a saying that in this borderland, war horses are more precious than human life. After Chen King heard this, he understood. Owning a war horse in this era is similar to owning a supercar in the previous life. In the previous life, how many people's dream was to drive the coolest sports car and get the most beautiful girl? Here, how many dreams are to ride the strongest horse and sleep the most beautiful person? However, how many people looked at Ma Xing and sighed? Fang Lai looked at Chen King and said, From now on, your task is to feed the horses in our camp. Chen King was not unwilling, and said, Yes. Fang Lai continued, There has been no war in the past few days, I will let someone teach you some horseback archery skills. Chen King immediately showed a grateful expression, Thank you very much, I will definitely study hard. Fang Lai waved his hand, Go, Wang Sheng is waiting for you at the stable. Yes. Chen King said, and then backed out. Chen King took a look at the stable and found that Wang Sheng was indeed there. Uncle Wang. Chen King shouted. Wang Sheng nodded as a response. In the next few days, if there is no war, I will teach you how to feed the horses, as well as some riding and archery skills. Obviously, Fang Lai had already talked to him. Thank you, Uncle Wang. Chen King cupped his hands. He looked into the stable and found seven horses inside. An old black horse with a big frame, but thin. There is also a little white mare, in prime of life, but small in size. The other five horses were all young horses. In other words, the only ones who can be used for battle are the old horse and the little mare. Wang Sheng stroked the little white mare with a look of love on his face. It is hard to imagine that a big man who has killed countless enemies is so warm at this moment. That little mare rubbed its head against Wang Sheng and behaved very well. The little mare is Wang Sheng's mount. It wasn't allocated by the army, but he bought it with money. Wang Sheng rode a little mare to fight, ran across the wasteland, and killed barbarian bandits. On weekdays, Wang Sheng is very nice to little mares. Even if he doesn't get enough to eat, he has to feed the filly. In the army, it is a very honorable thing to have a war horse that belongs to you, and it is also a happy thing. As for the old black horse, it was a fan horse, which retired from the cavalry battalion and was assigned to Shi Chong Fangli. In other words, in this battalion, Fang Lai and Wang Sheng had their own war horses, and no one else had. However, their horses were not at the same level as the horses of the cavalry battalion, so they were completely incomparable. That old horse had gone through countless battles, had been injured, got older, and its stamina had declined, and its condition was no longer at its peak. 
however, it can still be used. The other five young horses, although they were fed by Fang Lai's camp, did not belong to them. When they reach adulthood, they will be supplied to cavalry battalions. In other words, they are nourishing the horses for the cavalry, which is the norm. Chen King was a little curious and asked, Uncle Wang, are you always taking care of the horses? No. Wang Sheng shook his head, a month ago, the soldier who kept the horses died, and I came to take care of the horses. Dead. Chen King was slightly startled. Wang Sheng looked calm and explained, yes. When he went to put his horses outside the city, he encountered a wild beast and died. Besides, we also lost two young horses. He spoke very calmly, but Chen King could imagine that the scene must be tragic. Outside the city, there is a special pasture for horses. However, wild beasts often appear, threatening the safety of people and horses. After Chen King heard this, his expression became slightly condensed. Now he has taken over the task of taking care of the horses, and in the future he will go to the city to let the horses go. In other words, he is likely to encounter wild beasts and his life is in danger. At this moment, his heart couldn't help but feel a little heavy. As a veteran, Wang Sheng is teaching Chen King some necessary things. Horses are lifeblood. Even if you encounter danger, you must try to keep the horse alive. He continued, in the future, when you go outside the city to release horses, it will not only be as simple as releasing horses, but also undertake the task of reconnaissance. If you find barren bandits or large groups of barren beasts, you must report the situation to the army as soon as possible. As a veteran, Wang Sheng has rich experience. He and Chen King talked a lot, and Chen King listened very carefully, nodding in response from time to time. It was precisely because he received two tails of silver from Chen King that he spoke very carefully and patiently taught Chen King his experience. He looked at Chen King and said, Come on, let's ride two laps first. Yu reading www.yuyugonshu.com The only people who could ride in the stable were the old horse and the little mare. He looked at the little mare very closely. Obviously, Chen King could only ride the old horse. This old horse blew through the strongest wind in the north, drenched in the coldest snow in the north, and faced the yellowest sand in the north, with a face of vicissitudes. It is a war horse for one day, a war horse for a lifetime its fate is like this. Although the old horse is old, he has a strong temperament and has a pride that belongs to him. When Chen King leaned over, it unceremoniously kicked its legs straight at Chen King's face. Damn, you want to ruin my face. Chen King reacted quickly, his hands formed palms, blocking the terrifying back kick of the old horse. The old horse neighed and kicked out again. This time, Chen King was well prepared. He dodged sideways, successfully avoiding its attack, and then jumped straight onto the horse's back. At that moment, the old horse trembled violently, obviously dissatisfied with the ride. Chen King held it firmly. Drive. He used his legs hard and rode the old horse out of the stable. The old horse was shaking violently, but he still couldn't shake Chen King down. After two laps violently, the old horse became obedient. Chen King rode the old horse for two laps, and felt very emotional. Even though the old horse was old and his hair was sparse, he still had strength. Its endurance is not as good as it used to be, but it can still charge at short distances. For Chen King's performance, Wang Sheng saw it all. He didn't say it, but he was amazed in his heart, this little guy's horse skills are much better than most newcomers. Finally. Chen King dismounted and asked, Uncle Wang, how is my horse skill? Wang Sheng smacked his lips and said, So so, so so. There is a reason why Wang Sheng did not praise Chen King. The year before last, a new recruit came to the army, and his horse skills were as good as Chen King's. He once praised the man a few times, but the man died the next day. Last year, another newcomer came to the army and his horsemanship was even better than Chen King. He once praised the man a few times,
but the man died on the third day. After that, he never dared to praise the newcomers for their good skills. With the lessons learned, he now decided to be conservative and not praise Chen King. He continued, what does it mean to be able to ride a horse? The most important thing is to be able to fight the enemy on a horse. One person, one shot, and one horse, taking the enemy's head among a million troops, that is the most powerful. Chen King kept his attitude low and listened quietly, as if you were right. Indeed, it is not enough to simply be able to ride a horse, but also to be able to do some difficult movements on horseback. Therefore, he still has a lot to improve. Let's go, I'll take you to see the pasture outside the city. Having said that, Wang Shang rode on the little mare and drove the five young horses out of Liang Cheng. Although the little mare is small, it is full of power. With Wang Sheng, a sturdy man on his back, there was no problem at all. Chen King rode the black old horse, followed closely behind, and went north. Their speed was not very fast. After about an hour, they reached a meadow outside the city. Looking around, it is a wasteland, with some wild grass growing sparsely, and a few trees, but they have already lost their leaves. The early autumn has come, the pasture is withered and yellow, and there is no vitality in the past. In this season, horses mainly eat some dry grass. This is the last time for grazing. When winter comes, the snow is flying and the snow is so thick that even the grass roots are not eaten. Wang Sheng pointed to the wasteland in front of him and said, The terrain here is relatively low and humid, and it is a rare grassland. It is surrounded by deserts and no weeds grow. This is also the only grassland in our camp, and outsiders are not allowed to graze here. Can't other military camps work? Chen King asked. No. Wang Sheng replied solemnly, the army has already been assigned, and each has its own pasture. Okay, I see. Chen King nodded. Chen King looked at it, not looking at the vast wasteland. However, the grass here is limited, and it is enough for seven or eight horses to eat it. If there were too many horses, they would devour all the grass roots. At that time, like other places, this pasture will become a sea of sand and no grass will grow. It's not that I don't want to raise more horses, but that the pasture has its limit. Wang Sheng continued, the barren bandits are ghosts and ghosts, and no one knows when they will appear and where they will appear. If you see the enemy suddenly attacking, you must send the information as soon as possible. Although there are specialized scouts, no one can guarantee that they will be foolproof. Therefore, the soldiers who let the horses also have the task of reconnaissance. In this era, there is no telephone, and it is time-consuming and laborious to transmit information. If you encounter an enemy raid, you can light the wolf smoke on the beacon tower. Lighting cigarettes during the day and lighting at night is the main way for the border to transmit dangerous information. However, there is a simpler and more timely delivery method. That's the crossing the sky cannon. This kind of thing was invented by alchemists. I ignited the cannon, flew into the air, and then exploded, producing a bright light. When people in the distance saw it, they knew there was danger. However, this thing is rare far less popular than the wolf smoke. Mainly, only alchemists can make them, and the number of alchemists in the Great Moon Kingdom is limited, no more than ten. And, only alchemists are qualified to make this thing. If you are not an alchemist, and if you accidentally create something like the sky cannon, it will be no different from a treason, and you will be beheaded. Suddenly, Wang Sheng took out a black thing from his body. This is. This is the sky cannon. What? Chen King looked at the thing in front of him, and it was really unexpected. This thing was a cannon. This thing is different from what I imagined. The color is dark, stubby, and stubby, with a line, and the appearance is extremely poor. He looked at Chen King and said solemnly, This is a scarce commodity, and we only have one in our camp. If you are in danger, turn your head up and pull the thread. He demonstrated it twice seriously, for fear that Chen King would not learn it. 
Okay. As Chen King said, he took the Sky Cannon. Who hasn't played this thing in the previous life, but it has become a scarce resource here. Wang Sheng saw Chen King playing with the Sky Cannon at will, and immediately warned, you must take good care of it, and you must use it at critical moments, you know? If you use it to spread false news, that's a big sin. Okay, I see. Chen King nodded. It wasn't until he put away the Sky Cannon that Wang Sheng felt relieved. Wang Sheng also told Chen King that he had to return to the city before the sun went down. Otherwise, the chances of encountering wild beasts will increase a lot, which is very dangerous. Then, he rode a little mare and returned to Liang Cheng. Seeing Wang Sheng just go back like this, Chen King suddenly touched his head, didn't he say he wanted to teach me instant Kung Fu? Look, he brought all the weapons. Hey! Chen King couldn't help but sigh. He looked around, the autumn wind was bleak, the wasteland was vast, and there was no one but him, only six horses. An old horse and five ponies ate hay in the sun. This place is their familiar pasture, and now is their time to eat and their happiest time. Therefore, they do not have posthumous children, Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganchu.com is pretty good. Chen King watched Wang Sheng's back disappear, and said softly, Since you can't learn Kung Fu right away, then you should practice the Kung Fu first. Yesterday, he was still a person without cultivation techniques. Now, he alone masters two exercises. In a small border town like Liangcheng, there are not many people who can master two exercises at the same time. One is the palm method, which was obtained from Wang Sheng. One is a boxing technique, which was obtained from Fang Lai. The palm technique is called flaming palm, and the boxing technique is called mania fist. He had already used the flaming palm and defeated Zhang Chuan with the flaming palm. Still the same, what Fang Lai learned from Fang Lai was not only the mantras of Mania Quan, but also his memory and perception of Mania Quan over the past ten years. In other words, now Chen King is using the bull fist which has the effect of getting twice the result with half the effort. This place is very empty, and it is a good place to practice. He didn't hesitate. According to the formula of the exercises and his memory, he came under a tree and practiced maniata boxing. The bull is a famous beast and a symbol of strength. Once you have mastered the bull fist, you can use your fist to smash the rough-skinned and thick-fleshed bull. Cultivating the bullfight requires not only the strength of the fist, but also the whole body. The whole body needs to be as hard as the cowhide. When Chen King practiced, he was very handy. In order to protect himself and survive in this chaotic frontier, he practiced over and over again with great care. One afternoon, Chen King was practicing Man Niu Chuan. He sweated a lot and felt a little tired. He sighed lightly. Without meat to eat, my stamina is insufficient, and my body can't carry it all the time. He looked at the horse that was grazing, horses eat grass, people eat meat, so we have to find a way to get some meat to eat. Looking in the direction of the horse group, Chen King didn't see the meat, but suddenly saw a person. The man appeared at an unknown time, and was standing under a tree on the high in the west. When you are staring at the abyss, the abyss is also staring at you. That person was staring at Chen King, and Chen King was also staring at that person. Under the sunlight, the image of the man gradually became clearer. He was dressed in black, with a hat on his head and two daggers hanging from his waist. Looking at his image, he almost didn't say that I'm here to do bad things. Suddenly, he moved. He rushed down from the high on the west side, then took out the dagger from his waist and stabbed Chen King directly. Facing the man in black who suddenly appeared, Chen King frowned. The dagger was sharp and glowed with cold light. His attack was sharp and vicious, pointing directly at Chen King's throat. Chen King responded quickly. When the dagger stabbed, he rolled on the spot to avoid the terrifying assassination. He narrowed his eyes and stared at the man in black. Are you from the capital? The man in black only had killing intent in his eyes, 
but there was no emotion on his face. Even his words were as cold as ice. Everyone else is dead, you have lived too long. After Chen King heard this, his heart sank. From this sentence, he can confirm that the other party is from the capital. This is a continuation of the Feng Yuding case. Someone wanted to kill all the people in the line of the general's mansion in Zhendong. Even if he was assigned to join the army and came to this frontier land, he would not be spared. He took a deep breath, this was the moment of life and death. It's not that easy to kill me. He clenched his fists. He practiced bullfighting all afternoon, and with those memories, his strength improved a lot. The man in black held the dagger in both hands, launched the charge again, and stabbed suddenly. Chen King naturally did not dare to be careless and responded with all his strength. He hurriedly dodged sideways, dodging the fatal stab of the man in black again. However, a hole appeared in his clothes. The man in black missed a hit, and the dagger in his left hand immediately followed. At that moment, Chen Kang's right fist smashed out, hitting the left wrist of the man in black, blocking the opponent's attack. Then, he suddenly raised his right foot and kicked out the crotch of the man in black. This trick has a very cool name, and many people are afraid of it. Sure enough, after the man in black saw it, his complexion really changed. He gave up the attack and took two steps back. However, the move Chen King used seemed to anger him. After taking two steps back, he swung the dagger again and launched an attack. This time the attack was more swift and violent than the previous one. Chen King didn't resist hard, first he evaded quickly. Then, taking advantage of the opportunity that the opponent's dagger missed, raising his hand was a brutal punch. Bang! This punch hit the man in black the left arm. This is a bull fist, full of power. The man in black suffered from pain, and even dropped the dagger in his left hand. When the dagger fell, he naturally did not dare to pick it up. If he went to pick up a dagger, it would be tantamount to giving Chen King an opportunity to attack. After a fight, Chen Kang's clothes were torn in several places. On the opposite side, the man in black also lost his hat. Chen King knew that this person was at least in the early stage of body tempering, and his overall strength was stronger than Zhang Chuan. Especially his moving speed is extremely fast. If it is in the game, this thing is properly an assassin. Holding the dagger in his right hand, he launched a fast attack again. This time, his speed was too fast, and Chen King even felt that his eyes were a little blurry. In response, he could only retreat quickly. The man in black was getting closer and closer, and when he could not avoid it, he took it into his arms. What I took out was a handful of chili noodles. He sprinkled it vigorously, and then, the chili noodles were perfectly sprinkled on the face of the man in black. At that moment, the eyes, nostrils, and mouth of the man in black were full of chili noodles. Cough, cough, cough. At that moment, the face of the man in black was not to mention rich. That look was like when he came home one day and suddenly saw the old king next door on his wife's bed. At that moment, he couldn't open his eyes and it was difficult to breathe. Chen King reacted extremely quickly and kicked out. His kick was quick, accurate, and ruthless, kicking two inches below the crotch of the man in black. I saw that the man in black suddenly shrank his waist and his face was distorted. Taking advantage of your illness, I will kill you. While the man in black was in pain, Chen King smashed the man in black with a bull fist. This punch was Chen King's most powerful punch. With this punch, the man in black immediately fell to the ground. Then, he grabbed the dagger from the man in black and stabbed it fiercely. It was also at this moment that a familiar voice sounded in his mind. Ding! Find the target! Do you want to extract it? Chen King hesitated, and immediately replied, Yes. Then, a white light flew out from the man in black and submerged into Chen Kang's body. Ding, the extraction is successful, and the wolf step is obtained. At that moment, Chen King had a footwork in his mind. No wonder the man in black moved so fast, 
so he did have a footwork. I don't know how many knives were stabbed. When Chen King came back to his senses, the man in black had already died. The man in black fell to the ground, and Chen King also lay on the ground. The man in black died, and Chen King was gasping for breath. He was already hungry, but now after a hard fight, he almost collapsed. Fortunately, the danger is over. The clothes on his body were torn in several places, but fortunately, only the clothes were torn. Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganshu.com did not hurt. Although he ended up with the man in black, his heart was a little heavier. The Feng Yuding case seems to be over, but in fact there are still aftermath. Someone wants to kill them all, and he is also the target. This time, the people in black came, and next time, there will be people in red and yellow. It was as if there was a sword hanging over his head that could fall at any moment. Only through cultivation can we protect ourselves. You must seize the time to practice the exercises you have now mastered. Fortunately, this time, there was no danger, and I also gained a footwork. The footwork is called the wolf running step. With continuous practice, the speed of the whole person will be improved. Without footwork, facing the enemy, you can only passively fight. With footwork, you can advance and retreat, making it more flexible. Even if you encounter a strong enemy, you can run away. Of course, there is no escape word in Chen Kang's dictionary, only retreat. Chen King breathed a sigh of relief and looked at the corpse of the man in black, without thinking about what to do with it. This is a wasteland, and there are often wild beasts. He believed that it didn't take until tomorrow, the corpse would disappear so that not even the scum was left. Chen King unceremoniously took the two daggers of the man in black. This dagger is very sharp, with fine workmanship, it is not ordinary at first glance. Then, he turned his attention to the cloth bag on the man in black. There is something in there. He opened it and saw that there was a water bag with half of the water left. Looking at it again, he still had two tails of silver, and he put the silver in his pocket without hesitation. When I looked again, I found that there was something, wrapped in cloth. He opened the cloth and took a look, his eyes instantly straightened. That's half a caddy of beef jerky. The long-lost smell of meat came to his nostrils, and Chen Kang's breathing became rapid. That kind of feeling is like seeing the goddess you like standing in front of you, naked. At that moment, he couldn't help sighing, sure enough, people are handsome and have their own help. I want to eat meat. The meat is here, and it's still door to door service. First he practiced boxing all afternoon, and then he fought the man in black again. In fact, his legs were softened. Seeing the beef jerky at the moment, he naturally did not hesitate and started eating it. The sun was setting and facing the evening breeze. Chen King was eating beef jerky. He felt that this was the best beef jerky, bar none. Even if there is no wine, just with water, it is so wonderful. This feeling made him intoxicated. With half a caddy of beef jerky and half a bag of water, Chen King felt that he had never felt so comfortable. He stood up, straightened up, clenched his fists, and his condition has never been better. Sure enough, eating meat is different. However, the sky was getting dark, the sun was setting in the west, and it was not early. Before he had time to practice the footwork he had just acquired, he had to rush back to the city. Otherwise, the chance of encountering a wild beast will increase several times. Soon, he rode the old horse and drove five young horses, left the pasture, and rushed back to Liang Cheng. The road was relatively calm and occasionally I encountered other soldiers who drove their horses back to the city, but I did not encounter wild beasts. Entering the city, the soldiers who were grazing could not help but breathe a sigh of relief. Another day to live. Chen King rushed his horse back to the barracks, but found that the atmosphere tonight was a little different. Shi Chong Fengli had a serious expression and ordered everyone to hurry up to eat. Including Fang Lai. A total of ten people ate dinner immediately. 
it stands to reason that people who are not on duty can rest. However, no one can rest today. Fang Li gave an order, everyone put on their armor, bring their weapons, and stand by at the training ground. Chen King was a little puzzled. Do you have to fight for this kind of behavior? He looked at Wang Sheng and whispered, Uncle Wang, are the barbarians here? Wang Sheng shook his head, I don't know, but I definitely have a mission. Everyone moved quickly, and no one dared to delay for half a minute. After changing into armor and weapons, everyone stood on the training ground, waiting for Fang Lai's order. Fang Lai was wearing a wolf helmet and holding a large sword, staring at the night sky. Suddenly, a sky's hooting cannon lifted off, producing an explosion, illuminating the night sky. At that moment, Fang Lai suddenly shouted, Everyone, follow me to the Flying Eagle Gang in the south of the city. Then, he rode the old black horse and rushed out of the barracks first. Wang Sheng, riding his little white mare, followed closely behind. Chen Kang, Zhang Chuan and the others sprinted and followed. After leaving the camp gate, Chen King saw that the other soldiers were also moving, and they were all moving very quickly. When they got to the street, the people saw the soldiers dispatched, and they all avoided them, daring not to block the road at all. The shop that was not closed at first, also closed quickly when the soldiers were dispatched. Many people closed their doors and windows and had no intention of watching the fun. In a quarter of an hour, Chen Kang and the others arrived in the south of the city. Together with other soldiers, they surrounded a manor. That manor is the headquarters of the Eagle Gang. Liang Cheng belongs to the border city. Although it is not very big, there are many people coming and going, complicated personnel and many forces. It is said that there are no less than ten gangs, large and small. The Flying Eagle Gang was one of them, and it was a relatively large one. What Chen King and the others blocked was the back door of the Eagle Gang. Fang Lai did not dismount, holding a weapon in his hand, waiting for the command from above. In the distance, a voice suddenly came from the front door. Flying Eagle Gang harbors barbarian bandits, threatens Liang Chen's safety, and should be punished for the crime. Rush in and kill me. Then, there was the sound of a door breaking, followed by the sound of fighting. Fang Lai shouted, everyone is ready, if someone rushes out, kill Washi. Chen King and the others stood outside the door, clenching their weapons and staring at the back door. Inside, the shouting and killing became louder and louder, and the flames flickered. Among the fighting sounds, there were also screams. It was the first time that Chen King participated in such an operation, and he held the weapon in his hand tightly. He also stared at the back door, not daring to look elsewhere. It didn't take long for the screams inside to weaken, and it gradually returned to calm. However, at that moment, the back door opened and someone rushed out. It was five people. They had wolf totem tattooed on their faces, white cloth scarves wrapped around their heads, wolf fur sweaters, boots and all of them were holding machetes. No matter in terms of appearance or dress, they are very different from the people of Dayueguo. Their bodies are very strong and murderous. At that very moment, Fang Lai shouted, it's a barbarian bandit, kill me, not a single one. Having said that, he rode an old horse, waving the big knife in his hand, and rushed over first. Kill. Wang Sheng rode a little mare, and the second one followed. Chen King and the others did not ride horses, they all relied on walking. However, they also moved quickly. After Fang Lai gave the order, they also waved their knives up and all of them slaughtered the five barbarian bandits. When Fang Lai rushed over, among the five desolate bandits, the strong man with a height of more than two meters stood up. I saw that he refused to avoid and even faced Fang Lai, who was riding a horse. He let out a wolf-like roar, and the machete in his hand blocked Fang Lai's fatal blow. The strong man stood on the ground, blocking Fang Lai's full-strength sword, his strength was terrifying. Wang Sheng rushed over and slashed down with a big sword. However, his attack was also blocked by the strong man. 
the brawny man actually dragged Fang Lai and Wang Sheng back. The strong man spoke some incomprehensible bird language, probably their unique language. It seems to mean that it's not that easy for a group of chickens to kill me. As if he was born with divine power, he even knocked the little mare down with one punch. Wang Sheng fell off his horse, rolled over twice, and got up quickly. This is in the city, and it is indeed not suitable for horse warfare to exert its full strength. After several charges, Fang Lai still failed to kill the strong man, but was forced down by the strong man from his horse. Kill. Fang Lai and Wang Sheng joined forces and slaughtered the strong man at the same time. The battlefield was divided. Chen King and other eight people surrounded the six barbarian bandits and got into a melee. After arriving in the army, Chen King heard that the barbarian bandits were belligerent, and some even had natural supernatural powers. When I saw it today, it really lived up to its reputation. Although they were surrounded, they were not afraid of death. They even spit out fragrance, mocking Chen King and others. Of course, Chen King couldn't understand their language at all. Someone wielded a machete and slashed over, and Chen King was quick with his eyes and met him with a knife. In the next instant, he took two steps back, only to feel his arms numb and his mouth hurt. The power of the barbarian bandits is more terrifying than imagined. Give me a knife and chop these chops to death. The knives were scattered all over the place, slashing towards the four deserted bandits at the same time. Chen King was also wielding his knife, slashing hard. In the afternoon, he extracted the wolf running step from the man in black, and at this moment it played an unexpected role. With the wolf stance, his movement speed has been improved, he can attack and defend, and he is very flexible. Originally it was dark, and it was all illuminated by torches. Right now is a riot. Unity is strength. With everyone working together, even if the barbarian bandits are brave and good at fighting, they will not be able to resist in the end. Chen King and others hacked to death four barbarian bandits, but three soldiers saw blood, and there were several terrifying wounds on their bodies. The most terrifying thing is that the gangster's machete is actually poisonous, and the wounds of the wounded soldiers have turned black at this moment. On the wasteland, there is a poison called sand scorpion. They are highly poisonous and very dangerous creatures. The wild bandits capture sand scorpions, get venom from them, add some other things, and apply them to arrows and machetes to increase damage. At this moment, the wounded soldier had to stop and quickly deal with the wound. If it is not dealt with in time, it will be life-threatening. Because Chen King mastered the wolf running step and was able to successfully evade the machete of the barbarian bandits, it was fine. With the light of the fire, he looked to the other side, and found that Fang Lai and Wang Sheng were still fighting fiercely with the sturdy barbarian. The three of them were entangled together. You came and I went back and forth. The big sword and the machete collided, causing bursts of sparks, which were so dazzling in the dark night. Chen King clearly saw that Wang Sheng slashed the strong man with a knife, but the strong man only suffered a little skin trauma, but it was not serious. Not only is the Baron Bandit extremely powerful, but his body is also extremely tough. Hit him with a weapon as if he were on a boulder. Wang Sheng swung his sword towards him again, but was knocked back by the strong man. Looking at his tiger's mouth again, it was all cracked. Kill. Fang Lai shouted angrily and slashed out, but was blocked by the strong man's machete. Then, he suddenly stretched out his left fist and smashed it the strong man's chest. The bull fist he used was extremely powerful. When the punch went out, I finally saw the strong man's pained expression. The strong man got angry, stretched out his left palm, and patted Fang Lai's head. Fang Lai's expression became condensed. He didn't dare to take it hard, he pulled away and retreated. After the other soldiers saw it, they went to help. However, the strength is not at the same level at all, and the strong man is directly turned to the ground. Looking at the injured soldier, Fang Lai frowned and couldn't help shouting. Retreat. The other soldiers are not strong enough to fight, 
and if they make another move, they will make fearless sacrifices. It's not easy to train a soldier, Fang Lai didn't want his soldiers to die like this. Suddenly, he saw that one person had not retreated, and that was Chen Kang. Just as he was about to say something, he found that Chen Kang was moving extremely fast, as if he had mastered a kind of footwork. Chen Kang's strength couldn't compare to that strong man, but his body was very flexible, and he could dodge the strong man's attack every time. The machete either brushed Chen Kang's shoulder or brushed his hair. When the surrounding soldiers saw it, they couldn't help breaking a cold sweat for Chen Kang. Chen Kang seemed lucky, but in fact it was extremely dangerous. The tempering in the extreme realm, Chen Kang's mentality is getting better and better, the pace under his feet is getting more and more stable, and the speed is getting faster and faster. Being entangled by Chen Kang, the strong man couldn't escape quickly for a while. Kill. Seeing this scene, Fang Lai and Wang Sheng shouted angrily and attacked at the same time. Chen Kang played a huge role, dragging the strong man with the wolf running step, creating an opportunity for the two of them to attack. The three of them joined forces and finally killed the strong man under the sword. So far, all the gangsters hiding in the Tianying gang have been killed. Looking at the strong man lying on the ground, Fang Lai turned around and patted Chen Kang on the shoulder. Chen Kang, you. Just as he was about to praise Chen Kang, he saw Chen Kang collapse in front of him with a thud. At that moment, he was dumbfounded, touch porcelain. Wang Sheng quickly checked Chen Kang's situation and said, Shi Chong, he's fine, he's just overdrafted. After Fang Lai heard this, he immediately looked at Zhang Chuan and said, Zhang Chuan, take Chen Kang back and take good care of him, or I will ask you. Zhang Chuan wiped his sweat and said with bitterness in his heart, Yes, it's very long. Tonight's task is to exterminate the Tianying gang and kill the barbarian bandits, and it was done fairly smoothly. Fang Lai's team was only responsible for the peripheral cooperation. As for the internal affairs, other soldiers were doing it. Fang Lai was going to a meeting, and the team was brought back by Wang Sheng. Zhang Chuan was carrying Chen Qing behind his back, and he felt uncomfortable. He once suspected that Chen Qing did it on purpose. He carried Chen Qing back to the camp, and under Wang Sheng's order, helped Chen Qing to remove his armor, wiped his face, and then covered Chen Kang's quilt. The moment he came out of Chen Kang's room, Zhang Quan's nose was a little sore. This is really bullying people. After Zhang Chuan went out, Chen Kang, who was lying on the bed, slowly opened his eyes. He tightened the quilt and whispered softly, Sleep. Silent all night, Chen Qing slept soundly. Early the next morning, Wang Sheng's voice came from outside. Chen Qing, are you awake? Uncle Wang, I'm awake. Then, Wang Sheng pushed open the door and entered. In the room, Chen Qing had already washed up and was changing his armor, preparing for his morning training. Wang Sheng looked at Chen Qing and said, Chen Qing, you did a good job last night, and I even praised you. Chen Qing said modestly, Uncle Wang, I just did what I could. Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganshu.com last night, he used the wolf running step to hold the brawny man, and he had already performed well enough. Later, he fainted on purpose, just knowing that enough is enough. Next, Chen King had a few more conversations with Wang Sheng. Wang Sheng looked serious and said, It's not a trivial matter for the wild bandits to infiltrate the city. Next, a war may be inevitable. The barren bandits mixed into the city to inquire about news. It is very likely that the barbarians on the wasteland will have to make a big move. Last night, after the Tianying gang was annihilated, there was no major action in the army. This is also intentional. Sure enough, in the middle of the night, the soldiers guarding the city caught two more barbarian bandits who were trying to leave the city. The military guessed that there were still barbarians in the city. Therefore, today's morning training was cancelled, and even Chen Kang's task of putting his horse in the afternoon was cancelled. On the training ground, 
Fang Lai was wearing armor with a serious expression. Except for the two most seriously injured who stayed at the camp, the others followed me to the streets to arrest suspicious persons. The military attaché's great importance to the Tianying gang's collusion with the barbarian bandits, and ordered a thorough investigation of everyone in Liangcheng to avoid future troubles. People in the army will be dispatched to search the streets and alleys of Liangcheng and arrest suspicious persons. Chen King ate two pancakes, and went into the street with the other soldiers to investigate. Today, the location they are in charge of is the west of the city, where there are three gangs. The gang members are complex, and they are the key targets of investigation. In fact, people in the military conduct an inventory of these gangs every once in a while. However, things are unpredictable, and many situations are unclear. In the end, Chen Kang and the others stopped at the entrance of a small courtyard. The Wild Wolf Gang was the first target of the investigation today. The division of labor is orderly. Zhang Chuan stood guard at the gate, while the other two soldiers went to the back gate. In fact, only Chen King participated in this kind of mission for the first time. Other soldiers have been here for a long time and have participated in similar missions. They are also relatively familiar with the Wild Wolf Gang. Chen King followed Fang Lai and others into the small courtyard where the Wild Wolf Gang was located, and no one dared to block the way. Naturally, the Wild Wolf Gang also heard about the annihilation of the Tianying Gang last night. In fact, they have already greeted the 18th generation of the ancestors of the Tianying Gang countless times. If it wasn't for the Tianying Gang colluding with the gangsters and bringing the gangsters into the city, the military would not have watched the gangs in the city so closely. Being stared at by the military is actually no different from having a sharp sword hanging over your head. Be careful when doing things. Just a few steps into the courtyard, Chen King and others were greeted by someone who was the leader of the Wild Wolf Gang. On the way, Chen King heard Wang Sheng say that the leader of the Wild Wolf Gang is a woman. After seeing it, it really is. However, there was some disappointment in his eyes. In imagination, she should be wearing a leopard print dress, full of charm and wildness. However, what I saw was completely different from what I imagined. She is probably in her early thirties, except for being more energetic, she doesn't look much different from ordinary women. If she went to the street alone, everyone would not have imagined that a seemingly ordinary woman would actually be the leader of the Wild Wolf Gang. Most of the gang members are ruthless. If a woman can manage a dozen or so big men obediently, it means that this woman is not simple. She is the leader of the Wild Wolf Gang, nicknamed Mrs. Wild Wolf. At this moment, she greeted Fang Lai with a smile on her face. However, if you only see her warm smile, you will lose. Fang Lai looked at the other party and said, Mrs. Wild Wolf, I will act as ordered to investigate the suspects. I hope you will cooperate. After Mrs. Wild Wolf heard this, she nodded immediately. Whatever Captain Fang said, and the military's actions, I, the Wild Wolf Gang, will naturally cooperate fully. If there is anything for us to do, Captain Fang can do whatever he wants. Next, Fang Lai asked Mrs. Wild Wolf to gather the people from the gang. Not long after, eight people gathered. According to Mrs. Wild Wolf, these eight people are the main members of the Wild Wolf gang. There are a few who are not there, they are out to do errands. Fang Lai carefully looked at the members of the Wild Wolf gang and found nothing wrong. Then, he looked around again and ordered Chen King and others to search. Actually, the yard is not very big. Chen King, Wang Sheng, and the other two searched and found nothing. When Chen King and others went to search, Madam Wild Wolf welcomed Fang Lai into the inner hall with a smile and served hot tea. The two have dealt with each other more than once, and they are familiar with each other. Fang Lai warned, Don't blame me for not reminding you, the military can turn a blind eye to some things in the gang. However, the military will never tolerate things involving wild bandits and foreigners. It's the bottom line, and you will die if you touch it. The Eagle Gang is the best example. After Mrs. Wild Wolf heard this, she nodded heavily. 
As a Daeyuho person, I naturally won't do anything to betray the Daeyuho kingdom. Although we are members of a gang, we will stick to our bottom line. That's fine. After Fang Lai finished speaking, he got up. After Madame Wild Wolf saw it, she skillfully offered a piece of silver. Captain Fang has worked hard, please be careful and invite the brothers to have a cup of hot tea. Fang Lai didn't refuse, he took it and put it in his arms. As for asking the brothers to drink tea, everyone knows that it is a polite word. He counted the time very well. When he came out of the inner hall, Chen Kang and the others just finished their search. Chen Kang and the others searched every room and found no suspicious person. Since he didn't find it, Fang Lai waved his hand and said, Close the team. After coming out of the wild wolf gang, Chen Qing followed Fang Lai and the others to a small manor. There are many trees around the small manor, and it looks ordinary from the outside. In fact, this is the headquarters of the White Snake Gang. The White Snake Gang is the largest gang in the west of the city, with about 20 official members. They were well informed. When Chen Qing and others first arrived at the door, the leader of the White Snake Gang brought people out to greet them. The leader of the White Snake Gang is called Bai Zhentian. There is a strong evil spirit in him, and that kind of evil spirit must have killed a lot of people. The most striking thing is that there is a scar on his face, like a centipede crawling, a little scary. He looked at Fang Lai and grinned, Captain Fang, please come in. I have already instructed my subordinates to prepare hot tea. Brothers, have a cup of hot tea to go to the cold. In fact, he wasn't ready at all. Fang Lai waved his hand, Patriarch Bai, we are not here to drink tea, but to do business. After Bai Zhentian heard this, he laughed. Captain Fang, don't worry, no matter what you want to do, my White Snake Gang will fully cooperate. Everyone in my White Snake Gang is waiting inside. Captain Fang will go in and check. Naturally, Fang Lai did not hesitate, and ordered the two to guard the gate and enter the manor with the other soldiers. Chen King went in and saw that it was a small manor. The space was much larger than the headquarters of the Wild Wolf Gang, and the decorations inside were also more delicate. There are also several beautiful women working as maids. As the largest gang in the west of the city, the White Snake Gang had the best life. Just like when they went to the Wild Wolf Gang, Chen King and the others rummaged through every corner of the courtyard just to determine if there were any suspects. However, still no gain. Yu reading www.yukanshu.com looking at the soldiers who were not found, Bai Zhentian laughed again. Captain Fang can rest assured. I, the White Snake Gang, are all patriotic people, and I will never do anything like the Tianying Gang colluding with the barbarian bandits and betray Dei Yueguo. Captain Fang, go slow. After listening to Fang Lai, he said, Everything you do is seen in the eyes of the army, and I advise you to do it yourself. After speaking, he waved his hand and motioned Chen King and the others to leave. When exiting, Chen King looked at Wang Sheng next to him and whispered, Uncle Wang, this white snake gang is much more arrogant than the wild wolf gang. After hearing this, Wang Sheng explained, the white snake gang is the largest gang in the west of the city. That Bai Zhentian has some relationship with the people in the army, that's why it's like this. I see. Chen King nodded slightly. The forces in Liangcheng are complex, far from being as simple as they appear on the surface. On the way, Wang Sheng was helping Chen King spread the gang forces in the west of the city. There is also a gang in the west of the city called the Black Bee Gang. The Black Bee Gang, the third gang in the west of the city, was second only to the White Snake Gang and the Wild Wolf Gang. Finally, Chen King and the others stopped in front of an inn. To outsiders, it looks like an ordinary inn. In fact, this is the headquarters of the Black Bee Gang. In addition to fighting and killing, sites and resources, gangs also do some business. The boss here is L. Yu Feng, the leader of the Black Bee Gang. As for the guy and the other shop assistants, they are all members of the Black Bee Gang. 
When the guy saw Chen King and others, he immediately greeted them with a smile. A few military lords, please. Fang Lai said lightly, let's lead the way, we're going to round the house. <laughs>